this is lecture number 15 physics is very important for the continuation of chapter 6 from your book what we are going to study in this lecture is a little bit about the modes and uh, about the alignment and uh, this kind of thing is not lecture as you know that we have already studied uh, the longitudinal modes. Longitudinal modes, okay, we can decide the longitudinal modes by using the atom according to the frequency. Here, transfer modes we can also see in the uh, figure. Transfer modes, it forms because of the nature of the cavity. Okay. Usually narrow cavity, it has less modes or like beam shape is better. So the transverse modes mean the beam shape. You can clearly see this here. This is proper shape. This may also be used in some cases, but if you have like this, it's not good idea. This is also not good. This is also not good. This is also not good. But it depends in some of the application we will this kind of works. In short, uh, transverse electromagnetic modes is called TEM. I don't want to go into mathematical detail. Okay. I'm just giving you the the experimental idea, something like this. So, what is mentioned here, as I mentioned, that because of the nature of the cavity, and uh, we have already studied the standing waves are formed inside the cavity. These standing waves is not only in the longitudinal direction; it can be transverse direction. Which may we may not control. So that is why I'm, I'm saying it's, it depends on the nature of the cavity. So the transverse mode and the longitudinal mode both are existing. Now, if you see in the second point, it gives you a little detail about uh, these modes. Energy stored in various areas of lasing medium. Okay. Different areas of lasing medium. This is your lasing medium. Okay, in different areas. Yeah. Energy distribution can be a little bit different. Okay, not equally distributed. So, energy stored in various areas of the, the lazy medium because of this thing we are seeing the pattern form which is manifested in the output beam we assume six kind of shapes okay, there may be many more a lot transfer modes okay, but we assume six common modes which are shown in the figure as well some of the higher order modes some of the lower order modes the higher order modes such as EEM11 this is okay what it says have much higher power than that of the M001. Yeah. But what's the problem? The beam shape. Even though the TEM11 having higher power, but the beam shape is, is not Gaussian. Okay. So here, this is the ideal beam shape actually and this is temp 0 0 mode 
So whenever we make a laser, laser sorry, whenever we make a laser, we have to think about the temp zero zero mode in general normal applications. While aligning, while making, you may see all these modes, but we have to make some calculation, make the KFT narrow, okay, to eliminate the other modes somehow. And the other things, uh, the longitudinal mode, which I already mentioned, we need at all. Here, two modes are labeled temp01. There are two kinds of temp01. This one, this one. Here, this is the donut shape, and these are two spots. Here. The first commonly called is donut mode. Okay, definitely it has circular symmetry. And the other modes, other mode which is uh, 0, 1 is a rectangular x over y axis. Rectangular x over y axis because they are here, it's a symmetry x over y axis is a rectangular symmetry. Okay. So if you have straight asymmetry or something like that, maybe you can understand, but at the moment it's not necessary. The donut board is often the superposition of temp 01 and temp 10. 01, 01. Okay. So 10 is not mentioned. It will be y over x. So donut shape is formed when x over y and y over x superimpose on each other. Okay. Definitely both will have a rectangular symmetry. There are several, as I mentioned, that several higher order modes with the rectangular symmetry you can see, like this 0, 2. See, one, one, one. In some of the modes, power is higher, but the beam shape is not good. So preferable for us is the temp zero zero mode. Okay. Good beam shape, even though the power is reduced, but the beam shape is good. Is good for the experiment to perform and for certain things. Okay. In case of high power laser, when we use a military purpose, we may not need uh, perfect beam shaping, and may we may. Uh, it will be okay even there are some transfer modes. So the transfer modes like maybe temp 1, 2, 1, 1, this it's giving the higher power but it's okay. Okay. So this is I explained briefly about the transfer transfers modes. Exist in the cavity, also exist in the cavity. We have to compromise, we have to design accordingly. As I mentioned, the cavity, nature of the cavity gives rise this kind of uh, more so if we make a narrow we can eliminate somehow the higher order more. So the lower order more will be there what do you see in this slide is a temp 03 mode how it is temp 03 first number and the second number first number is number of modes by counting the number of dark rings around the center. There is no dark ring around the center. Okay. There is no dark ring around the center. So that is why it is 0. The second number, if you bisect 1, 2, 3. Okay. So the second number, it depends if you draw the lines bisecting okay so there are three lines so that is why zero three number is given here similarly if you have like uh, this kind of 
which is one one volt. So only one line bisect. Okay, and there are dark ring as well, which is one. Okay, so that is why it's called one one. And in case of zero, there is no bisection, and there is a dark, dark rings around it. Okay, so that is why it's called ten zero zero. So these modes, first thing, ये आप जहन में रखिए कि ये मोड केविटी की नेचर की वजह से होते हैं, ठीक है? Naturally, we can control this one. इसको हम कैसे कंट्रोल करते हैं केविटी की जब हम डिजाइन करते हैं उसकी कैलकुलेशन से नैरो कैविटी बना लें तो बहुत सारे हाईर मोड जो है वो स्प्रेस हो जाते हैं और आप सिर्फ जीरो जीरो मोड आ सकते हैं जीरो जीरो मोड सबसे बेहतरीन जो है ना वो बीम शेप होती है इवन दो कि इसकी पावर कम होती है उसके बाद ये जो नंबर साथ है ये कैसे आते हैं इसको आई ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन होते स्लाइड सो केविटी के अंदर ट्रांसफर मोड्स भी हैं और लॉन्गिट्यूड मोड्स भी हैं दोनों मोड्स एग्जिस्ट करते हैं हम केविटी इस तरह की डिजाइन करते हैं कि हम लॉन्गिट्यूड मोड से भी मोड चूज कर लें एटालॉन यूज करके या और टेक्निक भी है लेकिन एटालॉन इज मोस्ट सूटेबल वन और दूसरी जो ट्रांसफर्स हैं उस हम नैरो अगर हम कैविटी जो डिजाइन करें उसकी तो मीडियम नैरो हो तो वी कैन स्प्रेस सेवरल मोड्स ट्रांसफर्स जो है वो जो स्टैंडिंग वेव्स हैं लॉन्गिज भी होती हैं और ट्रांसफर्स भी होती हैं तो सेवरल मोड्स बनते हैं जो सिर्फ छह यहाँ पे दिखाए हैं जो मेजरली जिन्हें हम कंसीडर करते हैं जूम करते हैं ठीक है नाउ ऑन दिस स्लाइड व्हाट यू सी लिमिटिंग मोड्स As I was telling you, how we can control these modes. Okay. If you see here in this figure, the laser medium, this one and this one is also laser medium. Here, the occupation of the laser medium is maximum. Here is less, so it means definitely there will be a higher power. output but here will be the less power okay but iska ye advantage hai what is the advantage that you can suppress the higher modes here you can see the beam like a donor type okay 0 1 10 superposition okay so at the output if you draw something like this that would give this kind of spectrum here it can be like like this or completely hollow from here second one what you see this is we use a certain technique whether we use a pin hole or aperture k okay, that less part of the laser medium is covered so in this case what you get A nice zero zero mode, okay. Then zero zero. This is how we control it, okay. At all on for the longitude modes, and you can use aperture to control them, or you can use a narrow uh, lasing medium. So now, if we go through here, so larger aperture gain media give rise higher order modes like here. so higher more higher order modes definitely will consume larger volume of the gain medium okay small bore laser operate exclusively small bore means jo ke narrow theek hai there's a medium narrow so that is like this here Will give you very nice tam zero zero and nice motion beam shape. 
by placing an aperture of proper soil inside the cavity. Only TAM00 mode will fit through it, this one here. Aperture use kia, pinhole use kia, whatever. There are different uh, possibilities. So you suppress the other modes and also compromise with the power. But uh, most of the time we need good beam shape rather than the, the power. Okay. Now here are two points. Let's go through what is here. Large argon ion the lasers. When we design in the lab, we use mechanical adjustable iris or aperture. Okay, and it comes inside the resonator. Okay, it, it has to be inside the resonator or something like this inserted in the cavity usually on the side from where the output is supposed to come like OC output coupler large aperture the 10 one zero donut mode okay it's here you can see shown up here so if we use aperture it can be mechanical or can be some other way then we can control the, the transfer modes and these transfer modes are necessary to eliminate higher, I mean higher transfer modes for certain applications. Then 0, 0 having less bad, uh, power as compared to the other higher modes but uh, in some cases higher modes are okay if you don't want very good beam shape then it's okay but in most of the time we need a good shape so transverse mode uh, have to be high transfer modes has to be eliminated here this uh, topic i covered even though this topic is more suitable uh, more suitable uh, for uh, engineering laser engineering course what do you see here alignment proper alignment is necessary to have a very nice and fine laser optimized if the laser is not uh, aligned properly it may have uh, like a transfer mode it may have a longitudinal modes or this kind of things so it has to be aligned properly there are different techniques are used uh, for the alignment uh, like here this is your laser tube this is optical coupler this is HR high reflecting okay and here we are using a small pinhole and helium neon laser so helium neon laser is used here to align this setup what exactly happening first you need to remove this one OC and only align using HR okay it depends uh, what kind of laser it is because in some cases the HR uh, for the red light like helium neon laser it will be like a transmitter it may pass through so this thing has to be considered so in this case what you see the beam comes and it should pass through the same path from where it comes okay this is HR side this is OC side if the beam is not uh, coming or passing through the same pinhole then it means it's not alive so we use uh, kinematic uh, mounts here we move up and down right left all these things and after this alignment we insert back the OC okay and the same procedure can be repeated from the other side or if from a OC the, the light can pass through but it depends what kind of laser you are lining is coating on the mirrors other method uh, in which uh, we use the lamp same pinhole and here we use the beam splitter so we remove the OC from here put the beam splitter 
and we observe. So light passes through here and from the cavity mirror it goes back and you can observe here. You can observe this thing actually, the filament of this lamp. If you are able to observe the filament of this lamp, it means this cavity or the resonator is aligned properly. At least 90%, 95% is aligned. But if you don't see, then you need to adjust this mirror. Okay, right, left, up, down, all the directions. And same thing you can do for the OC. This kind of technique you can keep continue if the light can pass through the OC, okay, you can align it perfectly. But if the light, this laser light, is opaque, I mean this mirror is opaque for this laser light, then you cannot align, then you have to remove it. It depends, okay, what kind of coating on the mirrors are, what kind of lazy medium is there. So uh, the different techniques, different techniques are used and different things are needed to be uh, considered. So here we use a helium non laser to align and here we use a simple lamp. Okay. Whenever you design the cavity, alignment is one of the major thing and usually it takes a long time. Okay. Once you, once you do it, then next time it's easier for you to keep doing like this. But First time if you do skip time. So use the helium neon laser, make it pass through the hole and observe it should in return pass through the same hole. And here turn on the lamp and make it to pass through a hole. Use a beam splitter and from the one side of the beam splitter you have to observe by moving the KFT mirrors. So this is uh, the alignment using this is using helium neon laser and this is using auto collimator. Auto this kind of arrangement is called auto collimator. This kind of possible misalignments you can see. Uh, like here, even though the lasing medium is covered, but you can see the beam direction here to here, and it's completely misaligned. You have to align. In, in this case, you have many uh, longitudinal modes, or you may have many transfer modes. Here, this is properly aligned cavity. So that is why we use the technique which I mentioned in my last slide to align the cavity okay so mirrors are parallel here mirrors are exactly parallel but the beam is not exactly uh, retracing the same path okay it means like output may come from like uh, here distraction not like this if this is side, it may come from here, not like this. So the beam, that is why I use a pinhole here, here, outside also. And then you make possible the beam to pass through this one and this one, so that to align it properly. This is, even though these are maybe perfectly aligned, but a little, little change you need it. Okay, so to make it pass through. These are the alignment uh, methods and the poor alignment definitely it will not give you optimized and it may also introduce many modes.